Y is pointing down the chains, except when I have something set for world space. But still that Z is pointing forward. Okay. Uh, except my spine is not. My spine is orient pelvis. Orient that. Orient that. Orient that. I'm going to worry about the head later. So, give me, I was completely wrong. And, yeah, that's all right. I was curious if I wanted it uh, different there. So what I'm um, going to do now is actually add my twist bones that uh, they have been. There's a few things we're going to change from, we're going to change a few things here. So we have, a, we're going to have a upper arm. So this is actually not going to be the bind joint. So this is not going to be skin, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, the shoulder. So how about, I think I was working on a script here to do this. Uh, I guess it'd be quicker to go this way. Add IK spine, hookup joint, create rig joints, nope, channels, create parent, nope. Uh, if I was, I was working on it down here and we'll see if that's still the case. That's the spine, rotate order. So that's one I got into. I'll set parent matrix, head, uh, running the Python thing. All right, so I still haven't gotten to that Vesto, but that's okay for now. Uh, I just wanna make sure that's oriented. And then there's the issue of rotation order, which we'll get to in a second, but let's see. So upper arm, so I need two twist bones for the upper arm. One is gonna be at the shoulder, one is gonna be halfway down the shoulder. So my hand, I'm just gonna do this by hand just a moment. So just, get it. you have your joint. All right. W, and I'm holding shift to clone it. And I'm basically going to uh, snap it here. So this is my joint too. So now it is exactly as the uh, shoulder. And I will duplicate this joint and I will select shoulder, elbow, and that joint. I will point constrain it. So now it snaps right into the middle. And this will be, oops, I forgot I changed these and then I guess I didn't. Uh, upper arm. So this should be upper arm bind joint lower arm bind joint. And I've changed those here in the script to reflect it. So the cool thing is I don't have to go back through the script and change whatever I was looking for. I just changed it here with my world e worldly variables, I guess. All right, so this is twist one. This is twist two. Uh, twist two is parented to twist one and twist one is parented to upper arm. Uh, and I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna wanna freeze those transforms. Double check, just I guess, cause it's straight parented. Right, so upper arm and upper arm here should be the same. Uh, I'm curious as to why this is the way that I, I learned it and found it is um, having this upper oh no it is actually it isn't parented to that it is parented to the clavicle in the way that I have it so uh, so definitely joint orients there but freeze transforms freeze transforms just to make sure okay then let's um, let's just go ahead and duplicate this and what I'm going to do is I have lower arm twist and hand twist. 
So my lower arm is twist is going to be parented to my lower arm. So it's basically going to do this thing. So let's duplicate this. I'm going to unparent it. I'm going to call it lower arm. lower arm bind and then I'm going to get lower arm wrist twist constrain point delete parent it to lower arm and freeze transforms and then I'm going to also parent it to lower arm I'm gonna have to go in and double check on that. But at the moment, currently parented, yes, it should be parented to lower arm, I recall that. All right, so we're gonna duplicate this again, call it hand, and uh, click this, click this. So it's a weird thing, this little script here. Uh, goes A to B instead of B to A, like the way that, oops, actually I don't want that parented to the hand, I want it the wrist. This is the hand. Okay, so wrist bind. So this was the hand bind joint that I was, instead of having it from the hand, it should actually be this one. Uh, so actually, I'm just going to get rid of that hand bind joint. I'm going to move all this up to the wrist, delete the hand, and uh, this should actually be hand bind joint instead of wrist bind joint. And I think I've also fixed that up here. Yeah. So wrist is equal to hand, which, you know, it is. So uh, hand bind creates that. Thumb, index, middle, pinky, ring, pinky. So lower arm twist, which doesn't look orientated right. Uh, so let's grab this, grab lower arm, and I'm just going to orient it. Let's see how that works. All right, that works. Freeze those transforms. So. Lower arm, lower arm twist, hand twist. I'm gonna do the same thing with hand and hand, and I can just do both point and that, and then freeze transforms. All right, so this is the hand twist joint. Um, I actually need to figure out how that's gonna work here in a bit, because I don't remember. So I'll have to go back and we are going to do the same thing here. So here's something I can do. I'm just going to go this joint, one, two, three, four joints. I am going to call this one. So we have thigh, knee, foot. So I'm going to have left knee twist, left foot twist, and left thigh twist one and two. Very similar to the arms. So left thigh twist one is going to Let's just for now, let's, whoa, something's up there. Is that what I want? I'm not 100% sure that's what I want. Is that what I have? Let's check if this is what I have over here, where you can't see it. So I'm sure it's amazing. Show all, local rotation axis on. It helps if it's not hidden. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's the same thing I've got there. I'll have to see how this comes into play. This might be a mistake that I need to rec 
rectum thigh. Okay. All right, once again. Twist one, thigh bind, let's go A to B. So twist bind and thigh bind, thigh twist and thigh. Okay, then thigh, knee, thigh two. Will I do it if I just do this? No, okay, because it's backwards, right, right, right. Constrain, point, so that's gonna put me right there. And then I can take this to the thigh and I'll do the orient. Uh, and this goes under thigh one. So we have thigh, thigh one, and let's freeze these transforms. Uh, that should still be pointing straight down the leg. That bone should be right smack dab in the middle. And we're going to want to do the same thing with the knee twist goes parented under the knee and halfway between. So here's, uh, I think, maybe a better way to do it, or, you know, just different order. Uh, I'm just going to snap it there because I don't have to delete. Uh, and then I'm going to go knee. I guess I do that. I just have to delete it here anyway. Strain, point, delete. And so there's the knee twist. Parent that under here. And then the foot twist will also be parented under there. Um, even though the foot twist will follow the foot. So this should actually be foot bind. And the foot twist will also be parented under the uh, lower leg or the, the knee. And I'll take left foot twist, left bind, and, oops, not left foot. Wait, left foot twist, left foot bind. That's not right. And what is this? That's left ankle bind. Oh, I renamed the wrong thing, because I didn't do that. Okay. What is that? Left knee twist. Okay, left foot bind. All right, and let's snap it there and then parent it to the knee. So that when I put, it, yeah, it's coming there from the knee. All right, then there are going to be, and let's just uh, see, let's just double check here. Let's just grab the root and we'll freeze transforms. Yeah, it looks like I don't need to select hierarchy. That was dumb. Okay, and the orientations on all those should be the same. Now, what I'm gonna wanna do, I know with, all right, so this was the big thing. By and large, I'm gonna want my joints orient rotations to actually be YZX, YXZ, 